Presets are a great way to get started with Glover and spark any ideas of how you might want to use it for your own music and create your own original mappings. All the core presets can be found in the preset browser and you open it from the toolbar at the top here. You can sort the presets by clicking on the top of each column or you can use the search bar at the top. You probably want to sort them by device, depending on what device you are using. It's also important to check the requirements of the preset, as the preset will open that piece of music software, like Ableton Live or Arturia Analog Lab, with a pre-mapped project. So needless to say, you do need to own that piece of music software for that preset to make any sound. So I have um, Gliss open here, so I'm going to type in Gliss and I want to use it with Ableton Live. So now all of the presets are listed that have those um, tags. And um, when I click on them, on the left here, I'll see description of what the preset does. I'm going to go with the first one, which is the rewired base. You can either click load this preset or double click. So as you see, it's currently opening an Ableton Live project um, that has MIDI mappings already inside. If I go back to Glover, we can also see it's opened a device. So if I would have had a um, Mimi glove or a Leap Motion with trained postures in them, that posture set would have been saved with this as well. So you can see that a preset is a scene with a bunch of mappings inside. And um, to now we can read the mappings to see what we have to do, but we can also read the description that's been copied into a scene note that we can uh, open from the top here. So it says, play the note by pressing button two on the buttons page. Okay, so I have to have the buttons page open in Gliss and then press button two to uh, launch a note. And then it says, make the roll movement with your phone to pitch bend the sound and fade in the second oscillator. So if we remember, this is the roll movement. If you're not hearing any sound, please watch the tutorial on how to set up Glover with your music software. The links will be in the description of this video. In the case of Ableton Live, for example, when you use Glover for the first time, you have to make sure that it shows up as a MIDI input, as you can see here. Um, and you do that by going to Preferences, and then go to the Link MIDI tab. And then down here, um, where it says Input Glover, you have to make sure that um, the Remote button is toggled on. <laughs> 